a victim who's cooperating and wanting to push forward with this case. And she's being told no. Brenda Tracy is a rape survivor and she's angry. There are systems in place that are supposed to protect us, but when they continuously fail us, they continuously betray us, why would anybody want to engage in that system? On Wednesday, District Attorney Summer Steffen announced she will not file criminal charges against San Diego State football players accused of raping a 17-year-old girl last year at an off-campus party. The teenager said she was drunk and came away bruised and bloody. Well, the message is you can do everything right. You can do everything that society has told you to do to pursue justice, and then it still won't happen for you. Um, even on social media, I've seen survivors saying, this is exactly why I didn't report, I'm, and I'm glad that I didn't. And that is, that's terrible. The DA said they reviewed video evidence of the incident itself and determined the jury would not convict the players. Three of them were named in a lawsuit, which is ongoing. Following the announcement of no criminal charges, the attorney representing former NFL punter Matt Ariza said the sex with the 17-year-old was consensual and, quote, it happens all the time. That's absolutely ridiculous and shame on him for saying that. And what he's attempting to do is normalize this behavior, normalize these incidents, soften the perpetrator, demonize the victim. San Diego State University continues to investigate the incident, looking at possible policy changes to protect students on and off campus. The university also has the authority to discipline students. A spokesperson confirmed two of the former Aztec players named in the lawsuit, Pa'a Iwaliko and Xavier Leonard, are still students at SDSU, but not currently enrolled in classes. As a rape survivor, Tracy was asked to talk to the Aztec football players last year about a month after the incident, though at the time she was not told about the allegations. My story is so similar to this one. And I talked about good people doing nothing and how harmful that is. And then they just turned around and did nothing. Now, I reached out today to San Diego State President Adela De La Torre because I wanted to interview her on camera. This incident happened 14 months ago, and the president of San Diego State still has not sat down for an interview or made public comments about the case. She declined yet again my invitation to be interviewed on camera today. David, we know this decision by the DA provoking strong emotional responses. Uh, we also know San Diego State has issued several statements about the case. Are those posted online? Can people go read those? Yes, they're all posted on their website. They issued yet another written statement to me today. We're going to post that at CBS8.com. But I want to make it clear, our invitation is still standing for President De La Torre to talk to us on camera. That invitation is open anytime, any place. And David, we know you've been on the story from the start. David Gofferson reporting for us live. Thanks, David.